So changing the grid system or how these different columns work, we have to look at Bootstrap and see how it defines things. So in extra small devices, meaning that they, they are pretty small, so like phones, it says even, um, column extra small, tablets, column small, desktops, medium, large. Okay, so what this is doing is it's giving us like different columns and in order for them to stay columns instead of their own row, you need to define what is the smallest size it can do. Um, I'll show you an example. Now, if we go back into base.html and we're gonna scroll down to here, let's change these to column a large four. Okay, save that and let's go back into our MVP landing. Do a refresh. Um, mine is still in three columns, but if I do this, really quickly it becomes one column. Okay, so let's go back and change this back to medium. And save it, then do a refresh. Now it goes back to the columns. And if I do it a little bit more, makes it a full row. So if we change these to small or extra small, it's going to stay as columns. Let's just change it to extra small just so you can see it. It's gonna stay as columns for a very long time. Um, and then once it gets to about the phone size, uh, it looks like it's, or actually even as the phone size, it's gonna stay as columns. That doesn't look that great. So we should just change it to small. And you can play around with this as much as you want, um, but just keep it in mind that these different column sizes and how they work is pretty important when you're designing this. Now that looks nice. So if I make it a little bit bigger, let's see when it comes back to columns, it should come back um, relatively there. So that's small, that's that's when it's gonna be columns. This is a probably about a tablet size. Um, and then we make it a little bit bigger and it stays as columns. Um, Another important thing to note is there's 12 actual columns here. So when you see this number four, it means that it's taking up four of the columns and then there's three of them, so that makes 12. So if we wanted, we could do one, one and 10. That would make 12. Uh, it does look awfully funny, but it, it works that way. So. Just keep that in mind when you're making this site and also if you want to have more columns, if you want it to be four across instead of three across, you would change these to three, including the last one. Save that and there you go. Now you have those different columns um, and that's, that's pretty much the basics of changing the columns. Now with buttons and stuff like that, we can go back into our CSS, look at buttons to change the color of the button. We just add these classes to it. So the default class is this one right here. So if we wanted to change it to default, we could go back into to Komodo edit and look for that button up here. So here's that button, change BTN success to BTN default, save that, go back into MVP landing do a refresh, it stays as default. Oh, sorry, up here it changed to default. Um, let's go back into the Jumbotron so you can see that one too. BTN default refresh, and there you go. It goes to that default color as defined here. And then if you just want it to be a link, but it's still like the size of the button, you can just change that in Komodo Edit wherever you see BTN dash something. Um, there, now it's a link. We don't like that. So we'll keep it as default. And of course there are other options like the different sizes. And all you have to do is add this as a class and you'll see an example of it right here. Um, and of course, what I showed you with the CSS stuff, you can change the default color for these by going to inspect element. So this color right here, if you wanted to some for some reason change these colors, you could. You just need to define that in the CSS. Um, so just keep that in mind too. That's how you would 
change all those default button colors and stuff like that. Um, there's definitely a lot of stuff to this, so just keep those in mind right now. I think those as far as changing things is, is something that you'll be using quite a bit. Um, so for now, we, let's actually change the Join Now button to a Success button. And going down here into this, we see um, we see that it's only block content, so we actually have to pull up signup.html. Input type, now we can add this class of BTN and then BTN success. And if we do a refresh here, that changes it to that. We can also add BTN large, LG, and then that makes it a big button. And a way to see that is right there, large, okay? So we can also do a block like where it's a full, where it takes the full um, size of the container or whatever it's in basically. We can do btn dash block, save that, refresh, and then there you go. That actually probably works uh, best for what we see here. All right, so that is customizing Bootstrap. Of course, there's a lot of things that you could do with it. So play around with it, see how these things work, and. Most of the time it's going to kind of ignore some stuff and then just tell you the important things. Um, and I will try to add more examples of this stuff as we go forward. But uh, for now, that's probably pretty good for our buttons. And again, you can customize the coloring and all that. So uh, in the next one, we're going to finish up kind of this join now button and, and uh, like actually use more Django stuff. And then we will create the... Um, password protected content stuff. Okay, well, we'll see you soon.